emerging trends that are not helpful to the movement. Um, at Libre, I mainly work with Latino youths, so under the age of 27, um, sometimes black youth, recently immigrated youths. And I think one of the most disturbing trends that I'm seeing growing um, is this tendency to eat our own, the bones and all, in front of each other and in public. And this growing trend of making money off of selling outrage and in the public sphere. And that's particularly, it's hurting our image. We're talking about brand um, with, the youth, with these demographics that are growing. By 2050, one third of the adult population in the United States is going to be Hispanic. When nine tenths of the media coming from the right that they see is screaming shamnesty, they're likely to turn off the television or switch to MSNBC. Um, that's just the reality of it. So uh, an emerging trend that I think that we need to address and figure out how to balance our beliefs without watering them down, how to stay true to our principles without backing down from them, is then how do we market that and communicate that in a way that isn't going to end the conversation before it starts. Um, however, so as not to be a complete downer, um, working with the youth that I see all the time, I am seeing an increased distrust of government, which I think there was a poll released not too long ago, it was yesterday, saying the majority of, of the youths in America have some kind of distrust for the government. Um, and Hispanic start businesses at three times the national average. So you're seeing, an, you know, a lot of Hispanics are, are embracing the message of economic freedom if we can get it to them, which is the biggest problem still, that we're not getting our message out into these demographics. Great. Uh, Alice? Well, um, I am just a opinionated <laughs> Texas mom <laughs> who um, has been looking at the, the ground level from a grassroots to party level of, of what's going on, what moms and dads are saying, what what's going on in education. You know, a lot of these issues that we're talking about that we're trying to figure out why the left owns the narrative on gun rights, um, immigration, um, environmentalism, if you actually look at the curriculum um, of what's being taught to our children in K through 12, um, they're working against us um, during the week when our kids are at school. And so um, as a mom who's been involved in the grassroots, who's been involved in um, empowering people at the local level to be the media to expose what's going on in their own community, um, we're asking moms and dads to, to go into their schools and say, can I see? Can I see the curriculum? Can I see um, the, the management system that you're using um, to capture data on my child, on their assessments? Um, and looking at these issues at a very local level, I don't believe we're going to elect someone to save us. I think we're going to save ourselves. And the only way to save ourselves is to get educated on the issues and talk about them truthfully and honestly. You know, a lot of these issues for everyday moms and dads who aren't political nuts like us, they can keep their head in the sand, you know, on, on immigration, on transportation, on the budget, because it's not affecting them personally yet. Education is different. When you're dealing with your child who was a straight A student and now through the changes in education um, are coming home and you know they're failing or they're disillusioned or they're coming home talking about things that you're completely opposed to, you can't keep your head in the sand. And so I think that this issue of what's going on in education um, the, the whole common core philosophy of education is just not a, a set of standards. It's a whole philosophy of education. We need to take serious and look at, and, and obviously it's not a left against right issue because you have people like Mike Huckabee and Bill Bennett who are for common core. You have the, the left who's for common core. So I don't think it's a Republican Democrat thing. It's an American thing. And uh, for the record, uh, I would encourage anybody to go out and see the, the video that has gone viral over the past mm -hmm. four or five days. The, there's a, a, a father, uh, essentially, of a Common Core um, discussion in Baltimore. And he's just he's asking questions, and he's arrested. They haul him out. 
I mean, he was not being abusive at all. It was very interesting, and it really seems to have ignited a lot of folks um, online. Interesting issue. We'll come back to it. Um, and speaking of technology and, um, you know, how things uh, get to be 